Good morning, guys. We are getting ready to pull out of the rest area here just south of Champaign, Illinois. You know, sometimes when you wake up, it's like, where in the world are you? Where are we today? Well, am I in prison? <laughs> you wake up, you get you wake up just in a little small space you're like man can I go to prison where am I at where am I going well we're south of Champaign my e-log says Savoy I don't know how to pronounce it S-A-V-O-Y Illinois we're going to Byron Center Michigan uh Still got like four and a half hours to get up there, so we're going to get rolling. We need to go out and check, you know, check everything. That's what we do every morning. Get out and walk around the truck at least once. Look, make sure you don't have no flat tires. You don't have nothing poured out on the ground from sitting overnight. Uh, you know, no, no illegal aliens up underneath the trailer, man. And, 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 and make sure the lights are working. Just a basic walk around. I ain't tearing the truck apart, checking every part, nut and bolt checking the truck. Although I am looking for obvious things. We're going to get out and check it out. We're going to get going. Because it ain't getting no closer. Unlike some of these guys, we're going to get the layup in the truck stop. This little boy here, big grief. He's done editing our breaker better. <laughs> yeah. We're getting ready to get into Chicago. Now's a good time to stop and check things out. Make sure the straps are still halfway tight. You know, we don't want these things going nowhere, I'm telling you. You know, like a truck going over a bridge. There we go. Welcome to Michigan. Yeah. We're back in Michigan. Ain't been up here since COVID. Ever since I came off the road last time. So, we'll see if we can survive this day. See if they made the roads any smoother. Somehow or another, we're on back of the trailer. No fireball. You can see the traffic around it go by, but no fireball. That's a mystery. I don't even exist. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, we're up here in Byron City, Michigan. I think it was almost 20 minutes to go literally two miles on the highway to get off to this exit. We made it. That's all that matters. You know, it makes a guy wonder. We are not set up at all for back. But those cones over there are set up for backing test or for CDL. Makes a guy wonder if we could swing it around the corner to hit the get to get one set of them cones in one shot i don't know if y'all try it or not i'm on my way back down to indiana <laughs> and just so you know i couldn't make the the flip around into the cones in one shot because didn't quite have enough room to swing the tractor around so we're on our way to get reloaded and work our way back towards st louis Yeah, 18 pallets of shingles, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully you listen. Yep. Hopefully you listen. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We're good. We're gonna strap down and get going. Alrighty, we're strapped down and ready to roll south. Oh, this way you're in a big hurry. <laughs> now they gotta stop. There you go. We made it down to Effingham today. Made it to park. I always park here at Chasers. A uh, little bar and grill. I like going in. But the way their sign says it's the grill first and the bar. Used to have a restaurant, but I like going in and listening to everybody tell their stories. Pretty comical. They got good walleye. I like their walleye here. An old heritage. Western Star, that's sharp. I like that. Go in and get somebody, walk around, make sure I don't need to go visit the robbers next door. 
Did it come Oh, it's pretty full tonight. go in there just to eat chit chat uh, most of them in there going to the bar I mean, it's a bar and grill so a lot of them go in there to drink and that's all they do and then they see you see my plate of fish come out and you know you got these two big old massive chunks of fish and everybody's like man that looks good it is good. That's why I ordered it. <laughs> so. It's Chaser's Bar and Grill. It's right next to the Petro over here in Effingham. I've been going in there. Sometimes I go to the restaurant. Sometimes I go sit in a bar. But uh, The restaurant closed, so you don't have a choice but to go to the bar and sit down. But Man, they got some good walleye. The best. Okay, maybe not the best, but really good. So we're gonna close out and get to bed. Get up in the morning. Go get us a load. Uh, go deliver our shingles and go get us a load of steel beams and head back to Kansas City. Yes.